good that I'm following John. I, I John, I agree with almost everything he said, and we, we are starting uh, together a, a new initiative between uh, University of Vermont and the, the school that John is currently the dean of, and the uh, at McGill University and New York University, to try to bring ecologically get it back on its uh, on its solid footing, which is in the, is in the physical and biological sciences, and then to use at that point of entry to uh, educate a large number of people in the ecological economics, which is, is in danger of going extinct, in, in my view, or close to extinct. So um, to keep it from becoming uh, completely lost in history, we're trying to do something rather bold among these three universities. Um, and I've also had the, the really good fortune to work with John Fullerton and Bob Nadeau and, and many other people, many people on this panel and in, and in this audience uh, but um, the work with Capital Institute has brought into focus uh, a number of things for me, so I, I want to uh, start and say a, a, a little bit uh, about that. I, I should mention uh, before doing that that the program that, that John and I are, and uh, York University are putting together, we're calling at least for the present economics for the Anthropocene. And we're, we're doing that because we want to signal that we're in a new period of, of the human uh, journey and that this is a, a period where there is substantial instability. So, so I come to this with a sense of, of, of crisis, that, that we're in, uh, we have a number of systems <laughs> that are becoming uh, more and more prone to instability. The climate system is, is an obvious one, the financial system, um, the, the widening gap in, in income going on around the world is, is an extremely unhealthy uh, outcome. Uh, global population is, Expected to increase by another uh, two billion um, in the next 30, 30 years or so, and uh, and uh, then there are, there are very large numbers of people who are in radical poverty. So these are these are. This, I don't think we can deal with the situation we're in with a kind of business as usual approach. So um, what what has uh, really struck me over the last couple of years, and it relates to what John said about the social sciences, is. Uh, that were pretty fundamentally lost. Um, the, uh, I've come up with the metaphor of the orphans. Uh, these are these are disciplines uh, who who are alive in terms of what's taught and what's practiced, but whose metaphysical parents are dead. And uh, I think these disciplines are uh, include many, but the ones that we're talking about are ethics, economics, finance, and governance. To the end, uh, none of these are up to the problems that we have for the Anthropocene. They're, they rest on deep premises from the Western tradition that are going back, I think, to the book of Genesis and, and, and also the Greek tradition. Um, and but, but things took an even more radical and unfortunate turn in the European Enlightenment. So I, I think the, the um, we, are, we are lost because we have symbol systems and ways of thinking about the world that don't match the way the world is. And if we, if we want to have a healthy, life-supporting economics, it has to be grounded, as Albert Schweitzer kind of point, on a theory of the universe. How does the universe itself work? And, and attempts to sort of fix the mess we're in by, by leveraging and adjusting the current model, I, I think that those are not productive. And, and will, and, and are in, a, in a way, are even counterproductive because it looks like we're doing something, but we're not really getting back to the very fundamental basis, basis of, of our knowledge system. So I, I don't really, I'm not really a fan of the word transdisciplinary because it, it assumes that the disciplines themselves are in good order, but they're not. There, there are many disciplines that are just profoundly mistaken when you match them up to the findings of uh, physics and biology and so forth from the last 180 years or so, but particularly in the post-World War II period, we learned a lot about how we fit into the universe and how we fit into this planet. And the, the four disciplines or frameworks of thinking that I've mentioned are orthogonal to these, to these understandings. So um, to we're to um, have a, a chance of living responsibly on Earth in the Anthropocene, there has to be a complete rethink and regrounding of, of these disciplines. And I've written an article that's, that's been 
sent around from um, uh, some people and it was, was available on the website uh, on, on, on ethics. And as I thought about that, and this will be my kind of closing remark, um, it seemed to me that the, that the three premises articulated by Thomas Jefferson, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, were, were, rather, were are a rather odd set of premises. And so I've argued for uh, trying to rethink the, the fundamental principles that should underlie economic and culture. And uh, I've substituted uh, membership in life's commonwealth as a result of the evolutionary theory. We, we cannot privilege human uh, rights and, and human uh, consumption in the way that we uh, just take for granted. Householding, which is a care for our surroundings so that life, our human life and other life can flourish. And then lastly, entropic thrift, the care for the things, that, for the low entropy sources of, um, that make life possible. And that, that what we're in the process of doing now is to uh, use those resources with uh, utter abandon uh, in this period. So I, I think uh, get, we have to go back to our place in the universe and 